I would like very much, dear friends, if I could express the corporate mind, not only of the five of us, but of all the people who have advanced the cause of women. My grandmother spoke up for the first time about the fact that she was a victim of domestic violence for many years, and my grandfather's still alive. So to call out your abuser at 74 years old to say, I don't want to be invisible anymore, and we matter, and we're a part of this community, and we need to stop acting like victims and survivors of domestic violence and sexual violence are pariahs who are not part of our community, um, I mean, that's powerful stuff. Julie Lalonde has made a real difference in improving the lives of women, girls, through her work to end sexual assault harassment. As a young professional, she developed and manages Drotherline, the province of Ontario's anti-sexual violence public education campaign. For the past seven years, she has been an active volunteer with the Sexual Assault Support Centre of Ottawa. Ms. Lalonde's dedication exemplifies how young Canadians can be outstanding leaders in making their own communities safer and more equitable places for women and men. When my university threatened to sue me because I wouldn't stop talking about sexual assault on campus, my parents responded by buying me a megaphone. So um, that, that is what solidarity looks like, this is what solidarity feels like, and if you don't have feminist parents, I highly recommend you invest in some because they're marvelous. It's really easy now to say that we need women's studies in high schools and that sexual assault survivors deserve respect and dignity on campuses, but that's because the work is done. And for all the people that were there for me when it was not popular, when it was a lonely fight, when people were quick to judge and slow to come to help me, those are the people I think of today, the people who stood by me when very few people did, and I could not do any of this stuff without them. Vous êtes mon monde, je vous adore, je vous remercie beaucoup.